my channel, Alex here. If you've never seen these beagle cheeks before, then do go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave. So wig caps out so you know I've got a new wig to share with you guys, right? I have fallen in love with that burgundy or like copper colors. Like I am just ready for fall, right? And so I was super excited to see that Otre released a new unit in this Nisha line. Nisha apparently has been a super popular um, wig type, but they have now released like a shorter version. They had the, the original Nisha, I believe was like long, right? And then they had the Nisha, was two popular ones, I think 202 and 203 or 202 or 203 and 204. Anyway, there are a lot of Nishas, right? And they released this short one. I picked up the Nisha 206. This is what the packaging looks like. And the color that I decided to get was DR Sienna Copper. So I'm really excited to try this color. I'm branching out into new things, guys. You've probably have seen this already. I'm trying new things and I'm really excited about it. So this Nisha, it says Nisha Soft and Natural Lace Front Wig. Apparently she is uh, natural in terms of her texture and volume and she is pre-plucked with HD lace. That is what the packaging is saying. So I am excited to open Nisha 206 up to see what we have. Okay guys, so here is Nisha 206. Again, I picked up the shade DR Sienna Copper. Now she is available in over, I believe over 10 shades. Yeah, like they've got a whole lot of colors in here to choose from. <laughs> But I wanted this color because it's different for me and I had so much fun um, with the other color that I was like, let me try her. Again, this is the stock card if you wanted to see it. She is, it says, heat resistant fiber. So this is a synthetic unit, by the way. She is safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm super excited to look at her. The lace is a little bit light. And it doesn't seem to be a hard lace and it's not that stretchy either so do keep that in mind she does have your basic standard cap construction two wig combs on the side a wig comb in the back and adjustable strap she also has two metal tabs on the side the parting space looks good as far as the hairline they say it's pre-plucked um, We'll see what that looks like once I get her on, but she does look nice. I'm not seeing many baby hairs or many short hairs. It looks like there are little to none, but I do love this color gradient. I think it's different and I like the, the length of it. It looks like it's going to be a good everyday unit. So let's get her on. she is on I have not cut the lace off just yet because I wanted to see what the fit was like she is big head friendly I can say that I have not adjusted any straps or anything like that she seems to be big head friendly she's not tight at all I like the color the color is different I do like the cut on her the cut is different let me see if I can shift her if that would be easy She's not putting up a fight when I shift, so that's good. I can actually go ahead and move one of the adjustable straps because she is big head friendly. So I'm really, really liking that. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is cut the lace off. So for me, in terms of pre-pluckedness, the middle part area, I believe, looks really good in that respect, but everywhere else, I'm not so sure because this my hairline comes out a little bit further. But um, they pre-plucked where the part is, but everywhere else I think is a little bit thick. So I think they should say pre-plucked part. Not so much generally pre-plucked, but I'm really not feeling this middle part. I would definitely style her this way. Like I would do that. I think that looks better. I don't like her as a middle part, so I would much prefer her looking this way 
as a side part. I think she looks so much better as a side part. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. So if they removed one or two of the combs, then I would love her as a side part. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is fix up this side part and I'll be right back. So here she is guys, all style in the way that I would definitely go ahead and wear her. Oh, as always, you can wear her as you please. It's definitely wear, you know, whatever works for you. But for me, even though she is constructed as a middle part, I prefer her as a side part. So this is definitely how I would definitely rock her. I went ahead and made sure her feathers were all together and in place and then it's tucked a little bit behind my ears. I don't have to tuck behind my ears, I can just let it flow but I just wanted you guys to see how that would look. Now I do like how they plucked around the parting area and there is a bit of plucking just right here and it stops and that gives me enough wiggle room to make sure that this looks good. and. I'm excited about it because I don't have any baby hairs out except my own. I did not have to make any baby hairs, I didn't have to cut anything. The edges that you see are all mine and that's like a first for me so I'm really really excited about that. So I do think she is really really cute. My only complaint is the filler hairs. I feel like there are a lot of them especially up towards the top. I know they use them to like give you volume and stuff but just feeling it I can feel them and then trying to comb in that area was really really tough. I don't know why they put so many up here. Like I said I know it's for volume but I don't think there needed to be that many, like just running my fingers down the side of my hair, I can feel them. And that's kind of annoying to me. Um, if I don't touch my hair, I'm fine, but if I'm going to like go ahead and brush it out, I can't start from up here because I get stuck. Like I don't like that. In terms of shedding, minimal to absolutely none with this. I will say though that this is a unit that you're going to get hot. Like I'm sitting here and I'm hot. So <laughs> I would prefer to save her, even though she's short, I think that the thickness and this yakky texture under all these lights, like she's a hot one. So I would definitely save her for more towards the cooler part of fall, winter. Um, I think she would be cute there. So I wanted to get a little bit closer so y'all can see what we're working with up close. Now because I do intend to wear her this way, I'm definitely gonna have to cut her right here. I didn't want to cut it just yet on camera so y'all can see what it would look like once I turn it without doing anything else. But um, yeah, I definitely would have to cut her just to make sure everything is nice and even, right? So I would have to take some scissors and go ahead and cut her probably like right there to make sure that everything works and it looks good. But I think she looks really, really, really good. I do like the unit. I'm going to untuck it from behind my ear so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, we get it, so I'm gonna have to cut it. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm fine, totally, totally fine with that. So yeah, you guys, let me know down in the comment section what you think of Nisha 206. If you're going to grab her, if you already have her in another color, let me know. If you like this color on me, let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video really, really soon. Mwah. Bye.